Okay, everyone. As detectives, we should go ahead now and confirm these things that we just showed up there in Minnesota. So let's show some of this other evidence, then go back up there and map these things out and show that we're nearing the end times of the Bible, when the Revelation 13 beast will rise out of the sea and then out of the earth with the mark of the beast and such. Just as here on this one glyph of the Freemasons royal arch showing the two pillars before the temple of God. This is Jesus Christ's side. When he takes these people here, he lets out this beast, this Batman type character down here. And then we have to cross over until this great chain comes to bind the beast with the law and he's bound back into his bottomless pit. But this is shown to us over and over again all around us. This passing over it's mapped out all around us because God has done everything. It's all going like a script to the movie. Right here is the USA, and as we've shown before, it's all mapped out because it has things to do with vision boards and idolatry and stuff, and all through there. But it's also as a grid for the whole earth. If we have mapped out most of the earth, and it all maps out these things coming. So the whole earth itself tells this story. Look right here and you can actually see the Batman mapped out. He is the beast from the bottomless pit. Realize that it goes all the way to your TV shows and such. That your name is actually written in the Lamb's Book of Life since the earth was created. We are on a creation. He has created all of this for this story. Now you can see him actually doing the mark of the beast to this woman right here. Just as we shown. Now this is the part where it's shown that we can pass over in this giant event that's coming. See this dragon right here? See the dragon mapped out right here? Now this shoe, this dog, represents our way to pass over. Do you see mapped out perfectly, this dog? This represents our feet and the feet of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ washed his apostles feet and they were allowed to go to heaven. This represents the sole of our foot, just like our soul and the beast is trying to eat it. See this dragon coming after this shoe right here? The beast out of the sea, and then the beast out of the earth. They seem to not work together, but in reality they both work together. It's a great deception. The beast out of the sea is the dragon, then the beast out of the earth. This shoe represents us getting out of here. Do you see how it also looks like a nuclear weapon going off? Like a bomb? Right there? But that's it. That's us going up. And now do you see this arch? See right here in the yellow lines, the arch? We are passing over the mark of the beast. And we are passing over this guy, the 50, for the fifth age. It's over. We pass over to the golden age. And we are spliced into the tree of God at that point. But this is the beast that's coming. So let's go show this again mapped out in Minnesota. See it all right there? Perfect by scripture. Perfect. Jesus isn't going to stop this. He's going to let each one have its time. And then when it's all done, it's over forever. We are past the judgment. It's over. This fifth age is done. And then the earth is free of the curse, you know, from Adam and such. So let's go up here towards Minnesota and map this out again. This same picture. We are going to literally show this right here with the woman escaping in Revelation 12. This represents having the wings of the great eagle and being able to pass over. See that little arch? Let's go. And realize as detectives we have confirmed this. We can go to several other places and confirm this also, but we will stick with these two for now. So let's head up towards Minnesota. near Fry Street. In this falcon area representing the wings of the great eagle granted to the woman. Now as we showed, this is right where the shooting was, where the white woman's husband was killed, and then representing the beast coming after the woman. And then it shows that we're going to have that worldwide earthquake at that time, remember? Now, you can see the Batman right in here, right where the killing was. 
He's reaching down here and pushing all the buttons on the keys to open the abyss and everything. And here is the woman. See Falcon Heights? The woman granted the wings of the great eagle to escape. See her right here and see this dog as we showed before, just like we showed down there? That's launching. This is a giant event coming. World shattering. That is this event right here. See Obama and all of these different nations? This is the beast out of the sea. Obama represents the beast out of the earth. And there's the ship and the arrows for the first horseman. Right there when a great earthquake happens. See an 11.5 earthquake or so is going to be coming. And then it's the time of the reds rising up. This is the beast coming to deceive the world right here. Blending all the nations together. See that there? So that ship right there, the oil for the wise virgins, is seen exactly right there. That is the exact same picture. This guy is not the hero. The exact same picture. We are nearing the end times. Thank you, Lord God, for showing us all these things. Now, everybody keep faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. With the blood of the Lamb, our feet have been washed clean, and we can walk up and into heaven and pass over the destroyer coming that comes to deceive the world. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. That's that exact same picture. In the next video, I am going to show this picture right over in Jerusalem and we're going to show Jesus Christ right here with this as we all leave. I might even have it already mapped out, this same picture, because it has a lot to do with the running of the bulls, which is started today also, because the bad guy is known as Baal, B-A-A-L, the great red bull like the Taurus. Oh, it is mapped out already. We already have it set up over here. This is near Jerusalem. And now you can see the red bull is coming. Let's let this settle. There we go. Do you see this great red bull right here coming? See the 13, the Revelation 13 beast? Down here represents the woman and here's Jerusalem and mapped out perfectly Oops. see the 50 again this is Jerusalem and you can actually see Jesus Christ right here see Jesus there's Jesus right there this is the same picture of that dog we just showed see the dog and we have to pass over this great red bull beast coming and go above him up and over see the Revelation 13 beast coming it's all set up there's Jesus Christ with the same picture as that dog the same exact picture we just showed where that woman had her husband killed it represents the 50 when the fifth age comes this is Jerusalem there is Jesus Christ mapped out. He's staring right at Jerusalem, as he talked about in the Bible several times. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Hallelujah. It was now the day before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. He had always loved those in the world who were his own, and he loved them to the very end. Jesus and his disciples were at supper. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, the thought of betraying Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had given him complete power. He knew that he had come from God and was going to God.
So he rose from the table, took off his outer garment, and tied a towel round his waist. Then he poured some water into a wash basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter. Are you going to wash my feet, Lord? You do not understand now what I am doing, but you will understand later. Never at any time will you wash my feet. If I do not wash your feet, you will no longer be my disciple. Lord, do not wash only my feet then. Wash my hands and head too. Those who have taken a bath are completely clean and do not need to wash themselves, except for their feet. All of you are clean. All except one. Jesus already knew who was going to betray him. That is why he said, all of you except one are clean. After Jesus had washed their feet, he put his outer garment back on and returned to his place at the table. Do you understand what I've just done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and it is right that you should do so because that is what I am. I, your Lord and teacher, have just washed your feet. You then should wash one another's feet. I have set an example for you, so that you will do just what I have done for you. I am telling you the truth. No slaves are greater than their master, and no messengers are greater than the one who sent them. Now that you know this truth, how happy you will be if you put it into practice. <laughs> I'm not talking about all of you. I know those I have chosen. But the scripture must come true that says the man who shared my food turned against me. I tell you this now before it happens. So that when it does happen, you will believe that I am who I am. I am telling you the truth. Whoever receives anyone I send receives me also. And whoever receives me receives him who sent me. 